my channel it's Nehan here first of all a big thank you to all of you for this incredible love on my last VFX scene video and sorry for the delay in this tutorial because I was just busy in setting up my video gear with that now I will make sure to upload videos regularly so you guys keep showing up with support and love here is my upcoming tutorials which I'm planning to do so if you guys want these cool tutorials please make sure to subscribe to my channel now without further ado let's jump into this exciting tutorial we will start by using after effects to drag our video footage then we will switch over to the blender to compare to our vfx scene setup let's get started hello guys let's start by importing our footage into the after effects so i will click here go into the directory select the video and make sure to take that option create composition and import and that will create the composition automatically okay so let us add the cow effect search for the cow okay so that let's raise the light and balance over video lighting so that will track the footage more accurately so now go into the tracker first let me create a pre-composition it now let you reach into the new composition okay now let's track camera and go into advance and detail analysis okay so let's wait for the camera tracking okay so our tracking is completed now let's create a solid in camera let me go into the full screen now click and drag to these points like we need the floor okay so right click on it and now click solid in the camera out of the full screen as you can see it's dragged accurately now let's export the data and import it into the blender for our final scene objects okay so for that i will use the two scripts for that i will use two scripts and I'm using those scripts because uh, I find they are those very easy to track the camera and report everything into the blender. So uh, let me share with you. Just go on the Google and search for artifacts to blender and click on that GitHub link. Open that and now let's download that file by click on this code and download as zip. As I have uh, already downloaded it, I'm not going to download it. So after downloading, open the file. So after downloading, you will go to that zip file. Simply extract here. Open the folder. Uh, you can see this file, but we need only two files. And now in After Effects, let's use that scripts. Go into the file scripts, run script, open the folder, and select that export data to JSON file. You will see this little window. Just uncheck it. Now simply I will export it. Okay, so now let's open the Blender and import that data into the. Okay, so I have opened the Blender. Now let's import that track data into the Blender. Uh, first, we have to install that add on, which we have just downloaded the file. So go into the add-ons, install and go into the folder, select that import from blender. Okay, and now enable the add-on. Okay, save references. Okay, so now go into file, import, after effects composition data. And select that uh, exported file which we have exported from after effects, snip and vfx json, put a com, and this will import that our after effects data into the blender. As you can see, here it is for camera and here it is that video footage so just simply hide it by select it and press off the dot from your keyboard to reveal the object and simply hide it okay and this is our track uh, solid like this one okay so first so let's first add the video footage onto the camera camera background images add image movie clip open select that video file select the video open clip now press the zero from your keyboard to see the camera view Okay, so now let's increase the opacity to see it more clearly. Okay, so now and let me bring the timeline. So let's play it and you can see we have mostly tracked our footage. And now let's import our model into this file. And for this tutorial, I'm using these models. As you can see, this is paid premium model. So as you know, in my every blender tutorial, I give you free premium model. So in this tutorial, I will share these models also. I will provide you this blender file. Simply copy the models, copy and paste into this or blender file. Simply control D, paste it. Okay. So now let's get out of the camera view. Press three from your keyboard to go into the side view. And now just let's rotate it and place it in that or Plane. Now go again into the camera view. Change the transformation orientation to the local. Okay, so let's just go into the render view. Make sure to select cycles. Now go into the plane and make it transparent. So we can see our video. Select that plane. Go into the object visibility and make it shadow picture so it will only carry the shadows 
Okay, I'm going to tap it edit mode, select that edge and just scale it on x axis. Okay, now let's place the models. Create it. Let me turn on my screen cast keys. Now just move it aside. Move it. Okay. Move it on x-axis. Okay, I just want to add that box in our footage. Scale it. Rotate it. I'm going to scale it on the axis to make thick okay so move it and rotate it okay now let's do the shading add the materials now let me just make a new render here make it here shading editor First, select that part, cap, make it metallic, black, metallic, roughness to this. Okay, now let's make the bottle glass. Okay, you know the glass and select it here. Okay, and let's select the liquid, make it metallic. I'll use the red color. Okay. Now let me try the okay now I'll use this okay now let me add a light of sun to bring the shadows okay change the let's change the shadow direction make it more accurate Okay, let's text. Okay, and increase the roughness. Let me zoom it. Let me zoom it to it more clearly. Now let's add a node of color ramp. Move it here. First disconnect that normal. Okay, and I'll change the colors. Decrease the roughness a little bit. This is looking good to me. Let me duplicate the material of this liquid to make it more shinier. Okay, let's get depth here. Like this is going down to the floor. Let me create a new viewport. Another top view. Select this this part from on the for the first let me create this plane from this edge shape subdivide it make edge here move it like double clicking g from your keyboard double click g okay so now you can see it just nicely aligned with the wall Check footage. Just make sure you are on frame one. Okay, now let's select this part only. Okay, now no transfer frame point to active element. Rotate to and I'll just let's rotate on select that liquid. 
and just scale down it select the person hitting on and scale it on C okay so you can see this is looking good now I'm just create it as a problem it's going inner side and I just move it Subdivide it to add the more details and now share it smooth. Now let's play it and check it. As you can see, how nicely it is tracked with our footage. So, as you can see, we are not getting the shadows of our cap. Now just select this edge. Extrude on the axis move it on x-axis and now just move it along this, this showed it this way so now we have the shadows of our cap Let's add that GRI. Add the mapping nodes. I just want to add that sunlight effect. As you can see, we've seen it's sunny. So I just want to add that sun effect. we can know we are now getting this building reflection so i think this is good to go now we can simply render it let me turn on the noise so you can see how nicely we are getting the results so here is my render settings as you can see my t20 by 1080 and just make sure to match the frame width with your original footage go into the video properties right click show more option property details and you can see it is 29.97 frame per second so make it 29.97 point fps so now it is nicely will be matched with our video when you render it so you can see and make sure to match the timeline frames also and in after effects you can see if we have our video frames 3 8 5 frames of our video and in blender make sure you have the same 3 8 5 so now we have completely as you can see now our board is looking empty from this view so let me just do one thing to make it more detail I will simply just go to tab it edit mode simply select that object let me turn on proportional editing I will duplicate it and just make it separate so this time let me set origin geometry rotate it rx As you can see now I have placed it on it. Now I will just simply join them. Okay, so now you can see it's looking good now with the reflections.
You can change that value if you want. Okay, I think this is looking good for now. So now let's just render it. As we have just set up everything here, just set the directly we want to save the file by clicking this icon and after that png um, will render it the png sequence so png rgb alpha color depth 16 compression 0 and now i will just simply go into the render and render animation okay so i just before exporting i just decided to make a little bit animation in the scene to make it more living so what i did i just did an simple animation like i just moved the cap down a little bit and add a simple keyframe here when you move it to the down just press i and press the location rotation keyframe and move it around 100 frames and move it to the top and again add a location rotation keyframe and just move it slightly down to make a little bit bump i go go into the up and then it down that's it and now i am going to export it now i'm going to render it simply so i will catch you after the complete render and after that we will open the after effects and import this sequence into the after effects to match with our original footage and just do some color gradings and light balancing in after effects okay guys so we are here in after effects let's import our footage first double click here select the footage and make sure to take that option to create composition so it will create the composition automatically import let's import our rendered image sequence make sure to select the first frame sequence the name starting from 001 and click that option for composition import and now let's drag that into our composition so it up to 100 percent like the screen size okay so now let's play it and check that how nicely it is matched with our footage okay so as we just rendered around 230 frame so let's select match the composition time to our render image sequence that point and align it over to the our image sequence frames now from your keyboard control shift x and it will trim you can see now you can see now it is trimmed our composition you can do it manually by going to the composition trim tool to work area okay now let's do our final color gradings and adjustments go into effects geometry and to create your basic correction now you can follow the same steps with me like i am doing 0.2 i will increase the contrast to 50 shadows to 20 and vibrance to 70 okay now i will copy this geometry effect and paste into the our footage layer now i will select that my sequence layer and make it duplicate now i will change its mode to the screen and its opacity also g and make it around 30 now i will add an extra effect levels and i will just it around here from here you can see this effect like this okay so i'll make it up to 100 and now now you can see with this extra step how this is looking good Thank you so much guys for watching before you guys leave please make sure to hit that like button subscribe and turn on notifications and as always stay creative i will see you in the next tutorial take care